From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report with Kate Lehman. Hello and a very warm welcome to our weekly report. Today we're filming from the IHLS Big Data event taking place in Herzliya in Israel. And now for the news. The U.S. is warning airlines with direct flights to Russia for the Winter Olympics of threats that explosive materials could be concealed inside tubes of toothpaste or cosmetic tubes. The chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee said on Wednesday night that officials believe that the explosives could be used during flights or even smuggled into the city of Sochi for the opening ceremony, which is on Friday. The Russian Air Force has received six outpost searcher two UAVs. The platoon will be based out of the RAF's airbase in Kamchatka and will perform tactical reconnaissance sorties into the region. The U.S. Army Tank Automotive Research Development and Engineering Center and Lockheed Martin have demonstrated the ability of fully autonomous convoys to operate in urban environments with multiple vehicles of different models. The demonstration, which took place at Fort Hood in Texas, was part of the Army and Marine Corps Autonomous Mobility Applique System Program. Controp, a manufacturer of electro-optic systems for defense, is presenting a new technological breakthrough at the upcoming DEF Expo 2014 in New Delhi in India. The breakthrough? A tiny payload for small unmanned aerial vehicles and small manned aircraft. The NetApp company specializing in dealing with a massive amount of information accumulated by organizations every day and how to quickly access the relevant data. Now, most of the information is currently stored in internal organizational systems, according to Guy Ruchemin, who is NetApp Technologies VP. But in the near future, everything will be accomplished using external clouds. Thanks for watching this weekly report. If you'd like more information on Homeland Security, make sure to enter our website. You can see the link below. Thanks for watching and see you next week.